Hi, this is a quick introduction to our newest tool, 3CX Custom Presence Status. To begin, you log in with your 3CX extension and voicemail pin. And it'll take you to the primary display screen where you can see my current status. Uh, and I can change those statuses simply by clicking on one of the statuses, as well as uh, the list of all of my colleagues and their statuses, whether they're on the phone and any notes that they may have recorded. So to change my status, all I have to do is select one of the statuses. Well, let's choose 15 minute break and put in a quick note. Um, back at two o'clock. And you'll note that um, it'll show that note right here and that displays to all of my colleagues as well. Now there's a couple of benefits to this tool. One is, is that we've been asked for a long time for the ability to create more present statuses than the five built-in statuses available away, do not disturb, lunch, and business trip. So now you can create as many custom statuses as you need. Um, this um, provides a couple of benefits. One is that you can have more granular reporting on how your staff are spending their time. It also lets you identify um, whether staff are abusing um, do not disturb or away um, if they don't want to answer the phone, for example. Um, and that leads to the other question, which is, can I keep track of this historical information? So the answer is yes, you can. Um, so for example, if I wanted to, I could group this by extension. And then again by status. And now when I take a look at um, an extension, I can see all of the statuses they've chosen. And let's just pick break for now and see how many times they've done it. I can filter the information by start and end time. I can export the data to um, Excel. So if I wanted to create bar charts or um, pie charts, or something like that, um, I can easily filter by putting in the search criteria in the filter bar. Um, so one thing to be aware of is that 3CX doesn't offer an API to add additional presence statuses. So when we create a custom presence status, they do need to be mapped to one of the five existing uh, 3CX presence statuses. This way, when you're working in the web client or any of the other clients and you want to see the current status of a, um, one of your colleagues, it'll show the default, uh, one of the default present statuses in 3CX, and it'll also follow the forwarding rules associated with that present status. But when you're using our wall board, you'll be able to see all of the custom present statuses, and we do keep track of all of the changes. So now you know how much time an employee has spent in training versus break versus available away, do not disturb, etc. Anyway, that's a quick look at our newest tool. I appreciate your time.